So what are you doing right now? Mac Daddy Live? Oh yes. I'm like nervous about going on live just because the titties give me away. The belly, oh my gosh. The outfit I thought I could wear today is just ridiculous. So here we have 1942 to throw people off because everyone's coming for me that I have not been drinking on this quarantine. I have to fake it. We have shots set up. Apple juice. <laughs> this is a very John thing to do. You know, I learned from him. My belly just wants to be like all the way out. I have to like really suck it in, but the titties really give it away. 14 weeks and I can't believe how much I'm already showing. I didn't think I was gonna be showing this much, but I just got off the live with Artist Couture and I was trying to hide this so hard. And what's crazy is that I feel like with the illusion of pictures, I can still hide it. Ooh, I had a hiccup. So I just want to look like I'm not pregnant. I just kind of lift it up here, suck in slightly. I'm probably posting a picture like this so you can trace this back. Boom. Like really try to fool the eye. What? Oh, now I know how people can hide this kind of stuff because I am figuring out all the tricks. Nolly, are you excited to have another sibling or are you exhausted after Charlie? Whew. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe this is happening. Like I'm actually having an emotional moment because I've been in sweatpants every single day. I haven't really pulled myself together through this whole quarantine. This is such a crazy moment. Don't mind Charlie chewing on his chew toy in the background. You hear a noise. I can't believe this is happening. I'm looking at my body. I'm so emotional because it almost just doesn't seem real that this is happening. Like, but now that I see my body like this, I know it's real. I don't know, I just feel, I feel beautiful. I feel like Steven's looking at me like he's so excited and it's just knowing that there's a little baby in here finally after so long. I'm getting so emotional about it, but I'm just sitting here enjoying everything about it, trying so hard to hide it. How did you hide that though? Oh, I sucked in my stomach and I cropped it out. Wow. And I grabbed my boob and I just shoved it all the way back into my armpit. <laughs> like all the way back. Look at this. At 13 weeks, I started to get this pain in my pelvic bone area, and it was terrible. I felt like somebody was taking two torture devices and spreading my pelvic bones. Like, just I freaked out for a second because obviously all of these experiences are new for me, and that kind of pain was something I didn't even know was a thing. And so I called my doctor and he said, girl, you're fine. You just gotta do some stretches. I looked up special stretches for pelvic pain and I was fine. It was like, you just gotta stay limber, okay? You gotta stretch, you gotta stretch it out. So we're doing a little stretching session right now because Desi was restless last night. And she's, uh, I'm in pain. She got some growing pains. My bones, my bones are too weak. And we're stretching through them. Look at that belly. I'm definitely very bloated right now, so it looks massive. I am 13 weeks tomorrow. I think this is a lot of bloat, but my belly is growing rapidly. When we went to the doctor, the baby measured at 13 and a half weeks, and that was at 12 and a half weeks. So, big, big baby in there. My stomach is just bloated right now. I wish I could share this with you guys. It's such a huge secret, and I just want to like scream at the top of my lungs and talk to you guys about it. It's just a big part of my life that I haven't been able to talk about, and I tell you guys everything, so it's very strange. Hi. Hi. Look at you. We are officially 15 weeks today. Yes. God, you're beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Got baby mama right there doing a little pregnancy photo shoot. Yeah. I think one of the most difficult parts of having this pregnancy during a quarantine was that you can't really have the family around as much as you'd want to, you know? It's like, yeah, we can FaceTime, we can see them, but you don't get to experience those intimate moments with the people that you love the most and you just want to share everything with. So when we thought it was safe enough, we had Desi's dad come over and 
to see Desi and her dad when they saw each other for the first time, it, it was such a cool moment because this is now he saw her belly for the first time in person and it was just such a pure, real moment and family is so important to us and I just, I love that we captured that. Look at you. Look my belly. Holy moly. But my boobies are outrageous. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, this is so much. <laughs> oh, oh it's hard yeah. for 52. Look at your belly. That's so crazy. Hey, hello, baby. Gotta stand in the shade. Yeah. Hey, girl, what's that you got on the top? Dad, when I tell you, this doesn't even fit me anymore. I guess. My back is killing me. So how many weeks are you? 16. Like halfway? Well, I go up to uh, 40, so. Holy shit. I still gotta get to 20 to get halfway. There you go. Our appointment with Dr. Finke could not come soon enough because this would be our first ultrasound after exiting the first trimester, which was a scary time for me and Steven. We wanted to make sure that everything was okay after the first trimester in order to announce our pregnancy to extended friends and family to all of you and I told myself I said okay I will feel safe after this next ultrasound announcing to the world that we are expecting don't think that I wasn't going to text Dr. Wong and be like can I come in for an ultrasound just I know I'm not with you guys anymore but still can I go in you want me to send a text <laughs> no, appointments tomorrow but I'm just like, oh, I hope the ultrasound is good and everything is going perfectly. Are you okay in there? <laughs> I'm just gonna pray. Everything's fine, the baby's fine. I just can't wait for our appointment tomorrow. I'm just it's like, it's been too long. It's been too long, Steven. I need to see the baby now. I'm just sad I won't be able to be in there with you. I know. I was, I was like thinking last night, I'm like, Oh, it's just such a weird thing to not be able to have you there with me in the doctor's office. It's just sad because it's the first appointment that I won't be able to come into. I know. We we really talked our way into the last one. And together. it's like they told us that we could FaceTime during it. But it's like, I almost want you just to record it and then I'll watch it after. Yeah. Svetlana. What's up? Good day. Good day. How are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm so excited about today. Did you hit the record button? I will slap you. I'm excited. But I, I'm just kidding. So today is our first appointment after our first trimester. So it's been a month since we've know, had crazy. any updates on the baby. And you know, first time mom here. I'm, I'm so excited that I get to say that. <laughs> so to fill you all in, first of all, I'm very happy. Are you happy? I'm extremely happy. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I just feel shocked and just like in disbelief. And then I have this huge smile on my face. I can't believe that this is my belly. My titties are huge. I'm a little scared about how much bigger they could get because I hear they get bigger after when you start to breastfeed and that scares me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you because they're already, there's two well, sumo wrestlers on my chest bigger? right now. Every time I IG story, I can't even show my boobs. I'm really trying hard to make sure that I keep it a secret until this appointment. This appointment is very important to me to see the baby is all good and then I'll feel safe sharing the news and I'm so excited, I'm like bursting to share. I've been getting so many messages about the episodes of our fertility journey and they've been so incredible. And honestly, I've never felt better about any piece of content I've ever put out. It's true. Ever. Like, nothing has meant more to me than this this content. It has been such a freeing project, first of all, because it was really hard for me to put it together, really hard for me to watch back, but also knowing that I what I know now, that everything worked out, it makes me appreciate my journey so much more. And then, Oh, shit, they're going to know when they see this. Ah, that's crazy. Yeah, they're going to know when they see this. And... You know, I was going to release those episodes regardless of whether I was still on my journey to get pregnant or not. It was always my plan. It just was really hard for me to put together at the time. And I was kind of waiting for a moment where I felt like myself again to even edit it. It's been great. Really, really amazing. Thank you guys for 
all the support on those videos. You have no idea how many, many hours I've spent reading all the comments and the DMs and everything. Today, today is Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And if all goes well, we will be announcing this week to everyone. And that makes me so excited. At this point, when you guys are watching this, you probably already know. But just know what I'm feeling at this moment of excitement that I get to share with you guys. Okay, bye. I'm done now. Bye. So you have a double mask. I do. Can't even touch the buttons anymore. Remember when we could touch the buttons? Touch all the buttons. When I see vlogs, old vlogs of us touching the buttons, it makes me feel uncomfortable. So many buttons. I am sitting in the lobby waiting, as you had already checked in, but I'm not gonna lie, this is, it's weird. It's eerie. It's just odd not being able to be there right now. So what are we doing today, ultrasound? Yes. There's your bubba. Yo. Look at our baby, honey. There's the baby. Let me show Let's you. see it. Oh my god! There's a heartbeat, let me have you hear it. <laughs> oh my Dang, god! That's a strong one! It's a gorgeous heartbeat. Whoa, look at all those toes! Uh -huh. Here's oh. the other foot. Look at that! <gasps> Beautiful big feet. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I'm actually very excited. That was very cool. We FaceTime, we videoed. Oh my God, it was so precious. The baby's like little tushy when the baby was chewing. Oh, oh my God, it was so amazing. Like, what a great feeling. They said everything looked perfect, that, you know, perfectly healthy so far. Oh, I just feel amazing like i i'm the glow about you right now it's so awesome i'm even I more it. excited to share <laughs> oh my gosh this the feeling of relief that i feel right now just seeing everything okay i feel like i can finally just have a positive you outlook when you get so many negatives for so many years you're just always waiting for something to kind of go wrong and so it's so great to have a feeling right now where i feel like everything is going great and I'm actually in a positive mindset where just positive energy, positive vibes, the baby's good. I'm like so relieved. <laughs> uh, all right. Talk to you guys. Bye. Little foot. Little ah! hand. Oh, I think those are my feet. fingers. Look at the little foot pressing up. Oh, and look at this one. Look at those little chunky little legs. She's so great, the the tech that does this. Uh -huh. I love I her. I love her. Something that a lot of you don't know about my pregnancy announcement is I actually had a dream of that very scene. This is how it happened in my dream. He walks out into the garden and he says, hey baby. Then I got up, turned around, smile. And when I turn around, you just see my big belly. Steven just puts his hand on my belly and gives me like a kiss. Perkins <laughs> Produce coming in October. I love that. <laughs> it gives me butterflies just thinking about it. I knew that when I was ready to announce my pregnancy, that was exactly what I wanted it to be like. I was really emotional the day we shot it because I've never had such a vivid dream come to life in such a step-by-step -step way. Every little bit of that announcement was what I dreamt. And it was so beautiful. My brother and my mom, they arranged the little Perkins Produce set and my mom did all the flower arrangements. It was so special and they made it so cute and they kind of put a little Tuscany spin on there because I always say that I want my backyard to look like Tuscany and it was really nice. You ready to make this announcement video? I am so ready and nervous, excited. 
You look amazing now. Thanks. Wow. Cheeks finally are all to, rosy. I finally get to Lips snap from good. here down. What's down here? A little baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Perkins Produce set. Is that the newest uh, addition to Perkins Produce right there? This will be our best harvest. 100%. <laughs> the longest harvest. Okay, do you see our little Perkins Produce Oh my gosh. Sign. I love this. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? I'm so happy. It's so beautiful. It's the, the best happiness yeah, ever. No. There we go. <laughs> Can't wait to be a grown <laughs> Wow, magical. Oh, that is beautiful. The day before we were going to announce everything was my birthday, May 9th. And this is a birthday that I will never forget because truly, I don't know how Desi did it, but she pulled off magic and she recreated what was our first date. I can honestly say it was one of the best birthdays that I've ever had. It was an intimate, just Desi and I just really experiencing a moment, you know, going to the movies, splitting an Islands burger. Such a cool way to spend, you know, oh shit, what will be our last birthday alone? so many years. <laughs> Today is Stephen's birthday. I don't have any clothes that fits me. <laughs> but um, tonight's the night before we announce to all of you that we are expecting. So we're very excited here, huh babe? V, 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 excited. He's getting ready for our date. This is a very fun celebration today. Can't wait. You smell incredible. Mm. Let's go, babe. Let's go on your date. Got to bring some Krispy Kremes for Steven, the birthday boy. Oh, oh, okay, Lee, fine. How will I ever... Seriously. That was some pretty darn nice racing out there. What's the verdict? You sure make that... Just as good as I remember. Can I have some? May I have that? You've been good to know. We got Steven's first date dinner here. We're about to take it to him. <laughs> Didn't they split a burger on their first date? Yeah, but uh, they have a little more change now in their pockets. <laughs> yes. Perkins, your dinner is ready. Oh my god. Yeah, right here. It's right here. That's great. Thank you so much. First date recreated, but on a fucking... It's a little level though. It's a little, it's a little level, 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 level though. <laughs> <laughs> Currently reviewing episode number four. The most emotional episode for me yet. <laughs> I can't even imagine how it feels like. Watching it on Mother's Day is even. There's actually a way it's more emotional. Just to see the little bit like. Uh. My stomach is in serious knots right now. I just put on my story. My stomach just started fluttering like crazy. Like I can't even. I have so much anxiety. And you also have something growing in your stomach. I know. You got this. This is a crazy piece of news to, sh <laughs> it's a, to share. It's very big. Oh my god. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> fine. I think it's the perfect day to share. People are onto me already, so. I'm sure they are. It is Mother's Day, I know. so. I know. Happy Mother's Day. Off pants to put on the same pants again. Literally. <laughs> oh my god. Are you nervous or what? I'm having anxiety. I'm making it live. <laughs> I need to put a bra on. Oh, why am I so anxious? <laughs> Izzy, you're a mess. You I just did... took off those. I know. And you put on those, the same exact thing. and they're the same fucking thing. You can show off your belly now. I don't know how to dress myself. <laughs> I don't know how to dress myself. I look like I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> I'm dying right now. This is so crazy. We're finally shared it. People aren't even aware that I'm pregnant. They're yet. skipping Watching. to the end. Yeah, right. I am so freaking happy. Like literally I'm cheesing right now. I had like the best birthday ever yesterday and now I get to celebrate 
our first, you know, Mother's Day together. I'm just so excited. I've been holding in my emotion like this entire time because I just wanted to get to this point and we're here. I'm just really happy. <laughs> I don't think there's any words I can express how happy I feel right now. That oh, I like, I'm going to just melt to a big puddle of mush. <laughs> Watching everyone's stories makes me emotional. I just took a nap because I was so tired from like just the excitement and now I think I'm gonna take another nap after this. <laughs> My mom and I can't, we're just sitting in, in, in like- Just basking? Basking. So I showed my mom this, I didn't tell my mom, okay? Really? You know all of me in secrets, I fucking, my lips were Damn. Shot. Even though Steven and I have already experienced finding out we were pregnant, it's like we got to experience it again after announcing it to the world. And it was also so great to finally feel free. I've been dying to share with everyone how I'm feeling, bump updates, like all of these things. I've just been bottling them up and now I'm just like, the amount of love that Steven and I have been feeling from everyone has been more than a person could even possibly feel in a lifetime. It's, it's insane. Like we really are so grateful for every single message and every single congratulations and all the flowers. <laughs> you guys, my house is covered in flowers. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. Look at this package for the baby. This is one of the most thoughtful things ever from Ray and Lola at Shop Miss Lola. They are so sweet, you guys are gonna die. I mean, what? This is so cute. It's gonna be a while before baby fits into these, but this is adorable just to even have. Perkins produce, there's limes at the bottom. Do you not diet these little baby overalls? Like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, oh my God, a little bucket hat. Too much. It's too much. Canola, you want to try it on for reference? Why is she just putting her head up against? I'm dying. Perkins produce overalls. Okay, that is impressive. Look at this. Which one, that or that? Oh, it's the same. <laughs> it's literally you. You guys have the same top knot and everything right now, the same hairstyle. This is too much. It's like a baby shower gift, but also because I love you so much. Look at Morty gonna cry. I got this journal, oh, scrapbook yeah. journal. Stop. And I promised to uh, fill it up, and you can fill it up too. It's like something that we can all do together. <laughs> and I did the first one up for you. Oh, oh my God. You put all the phrases. It's Steven's card to you. Oh my gosh. the beginning gosh. of your journey. Gosh. It's so pretty. How will I ever make the pages this good? <laughs> <laughs> the to, first time you heard the heartbeat. You have to make all the pages. 
Thank you. I love you so much. Mm. That is such a sweet gift. What a nice day outside. How's your day treating you? Honestly, I'm living my best life right now. What you eating? Mac and cheese. Gourmet. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Being pregnant is great. Yeah, you just get to lay out with mac and cheese resting on your your breasts. This is for me. You get me my water bottle when I'm thirsty. I'm sorry, do you need water? Is that what you're asking <laughs> for? Okay, let me go get it. My apologies, this was an oversight from the kitchen. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. This is great. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Do you want to just knock all the kids out back to back? Because I could... You could get used to this? I really like pregnancy so far. I think maybe I could just be pregnant for the next... Let's see how the first one goes. <laughs>